That's why it was so hard for us to come up with video ideas. So important. It makes it way easier to keep track of all of your videos. But you can't always be absent to those type of things. It just really, really helps a lot. If it's on like the bad side, that's actually very, very good for organization, especially. Say what are we filming? And oh yeah. So oh, okay, it's going on here. Right? Hey guys, it's Michelle and Charlene and you're watching CNM Forever. Forever. Today on CNM Forever, we are going to be giving you guys tips to organize your YouTube channel and how we plan our videos. So in this video, we'll be showing you guys the process of how we pin our videos for the month and we'll be giving you guys some tips on things you should do and things that you should have to organize and plan your channel. Before we get started, the shout of the day goes to Please go and subscribe, she has such an amazing channel and her channel will be in the iCard and also in the description down below. By the way, we have an Instagram. If you do have Instagram, definitely go check us out there. And so without further ado, let's, let's get, get started. started. Before we actually get started in this video, I just want to give a little side note that in February, we didn't organize our videos like this. Yeah, we did not plan. That's why it was so hard for us to come up with video ideas. In January, we did, and like all the previous times we did, which proves how helpful Yeah, I think we just want to see if we could try something new which obviously didn't help but this month we will be implementing the out obviously do help so you should definitely try them too we're going to be doing the tips first and then we'll show you guys how we organize my channel mm -hmm. This is so important. You need to have a list of video ideas. Whenever you have no idea what video to post and you're going to be filming tomorrow, you should go to that list of video ideas and then they have so many that you can choose from. It is amazing for emergencies and you just don't want that to be an excuse for not having to film. We have our channel notebook where you write all our ideas. You can keep them on your phone in your notes and messages. Just make it where a place you know you will remember and it's easy to access so you always have them just in case. Have a calendar or a planner. It makes it way easier to keep track of all of your videos. It doesn't really matter what you have. The planner doesn't have to be so big or so like fancy, decorative. We literally got like a mini planner from the dollar store and it works just fine. A calendar works just fine. I know lots of people aren't really fans of planners. As Michelle said, you can even like use like your own phone and you can use the to-do list app or the reminders app. There's lots of really good apps out there for reminders and schedules and stuff. It's also amazing to know when your videos are premiering, any collab you want to do or any upcoming project you have to know when you're gonna premiere a video i've been to many premieres and no one's there i know it's different if like you have to go somewhere just like an accident it's happened to us before but you can't always be absent to those type of things and just in general it helps you to remember everything that you just need to know so it's really helpful you need to know what you're going to say in your videos. So there's a difference between having a really entertaining video, like me and Michelle, our assumptions video. We're not going to write down what we're going to say after each assumption. But if you're doing a video like we're doing right now, it might be helpful to at least have some type of idea. This is what we're saying. We're on here right now. And it shows what we're saying. It doesn't have to be like a whole essay of every single word, just points so you know kind of like what to pick up and then you can elaborate better. If you write your point and everything you need to come across down, you will not lose your train of thought and you will basically stay on the topic you're talking about. It gives you more confidence in what you're saying anyway. It just really, really helps a lot. I always think about the next video idea that we're doing. I'll just be like, hey guys, it's Michelle and Charlene and you're watching CNN for this Plan videos in advance. We always do it in the beginning of the month and honestly doing all of it in the beginning of the month really helps. Maybe like one day we put a video for like Wednesday or something like that. But like that same week we decide that we want to do another video. It is totally fine. We can change it. But at least if we didn't have a video idea, it is there for us to do. It's very helpful instead of doing it very last minute. In the month of February, we would like come up with an idea maybe Tuesday. And we would change it the day of. And then we keep going back and forth, back and forth, feeling what should we do? No, this was not going to work out. This video is not going to work out. Oh, I don't like this video idea. Just so much back and forth. Have a video idea on the day ahead of time because it's really helpful. 
So those are all the tips that we have. Um, since this is kind of a two part of a video, that's why we didn't do as many. Like, we can do like a full one with more tips if you guys want us to. But now we're going to explain the process of how we plan our YouTube videos. So the first thing that we do is we write all the video ideas that we feel like could go in the month of March. We look through video ideas and we kind of get them all sold together and say, oh, I want to do this in the month of March. Some people might use their phone. We use our channel notebook to write them all down. We take some ideas from other YouTubers, just brainstorm on our own. Just search in general all around from different sources to see what video ideas we want to do and create a nice long list so we have plenty to choose from. The most important part, we search keywords so to search our keywords we use tubebuddy if you guys don't know what tubebuddy is tubebuddy is a chrome extension tool that helps you optimize your videos to be able to be pushed out one you use tubebuddy to search for keywords that can help you have a better chance to rank and search to find your keyword you basically just type in the keyword tool the title of your video and after that a scale will come up under it it will either tell you if the keyword is good bad not too good very good excellent the search volume optimization and the competition they all sh i would say should be halfway yellow and up search volume means how many people are actually searching it the competition means how many even like the huge hugest youtubers who are doing those videos and the optimization is how well tubebuddy will be able to optimize your video if it's in the good most likely your video will be able to push out but if it's on like the bad side your video won't be able to be pushed out you don't want to go too deep into it i'm sorry we keep talking about tubebuddy but we have our free version and the premium version we bought the premium version which was 20 dollars which is Pricey. But anyway, to just conclude, we use TubeBuddy to just find the best keywords. Then we start to select our videos. We eliminate the ones that we can't or don't want to do. We choose our final ones, like the final top 10. There's usually 10 videos a month that we post. Some of the videos that we might be doing, we will have to know about something that we might have to buy specifically for the video or something we just have to get ready for before the video. For instance, we're going to do a tree ideas video. We have to write down the tree ideas and write down the ingredients we need and when we'll be able to go and buy them so next time we go to the store we know to go get them that's actually very very good for organization especially if you write it in your reminders or on a post-it note or in your planner like we do or our remind app after we eliminate all the videos and we have all our bills laid out for the month we print out our calendar and we take our planner and write down all the videos that we have so that whenever it comes time for us to film this specific video we can go check and it's just super super easy what's permitted on saturday the, the video huh? like aesthetic You're gonna do your morning routine next. No, I'll film on Tuesday. Tuesday is going on Saturday. That day is on school day, but we changed that. We can, we have, I think I have better ideas. Today, what are we filming? And, oh yeah, so going, and during the whole week. Ah, oh, okay, it's going on here, right? Okay, that's good. I'm good. That's kind of the end of the video planning. We do do another plan for any things we have to, for that month. Our extra goal slash products contain something like our collabs, our giveaways, kind of just like our goals, anything extra coming up. We do have a one year anniversary on YouTube soon, so but we just plan for those type of things. We also come up with a goal usually of how many subscribers or watch hours we want by the end of the month. We don't really expect to reach our goals all the time, but it helps us, it pushes us, and it motivates us to try to get there. It really, really helps us grow with growing our YouTube channel. So that's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed a little insight on how we get our videos all planned and how we organize. And we hope these tips were helpful for you and that you guys can use these in your channels. We know a lot of you guys have small channels and want to help you guys. If you have gotten to this point of the video, we just wanted to say we're so thankful for you and you are such a real one. But if you are, you would leave this emoji down below the first person to comment it after this video is uploaded will get a shout out in our next video try to share this video to of your friends or your family members. and so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.